I have been making videos recently a lot about this new Google Tables thing, or is it new? Well, it's new to me, so it must be new in general, right? I know, I know everything about productivity apps, right? And for that reason, I wanted to take a second to think about, well, is this better than Coda? People really want me to make Coda videos. People really want me to make videos about this Google Tables thing. Maybe I should make both. Maybe I should stop making videos in general. If you hate my content, make sure to leave a hate comment. It pushes the YouTube algorithm. You very smart person. Also, when taking a quick look between this application and Coda, I do want to point out the fact that unfortunately Area 120 and like Google Tables is only supported in the US. It, it's a little bit sad to see uh, considering it is very functional, but just want to point that out. From a pricing perspective, when we look at Google Tables, the free plan gives you 100 tables, 1000 rows, a gigabyte of storage, and then 100 actions. But the paid version, if you upgrade, will eventually be 10 bucks a month, but I can, I guess I can do upgrade now. What is this? Oh, this is because I probably have a business version or because it's in beta. I do have to say there are some people who are peddling things in beta while it's on a premium plan and that just bothers me. Regardless, when you compare it to the pricing is actually pretty one-to-one -one, since Coda's premium option is $10 a month. And that is a main reason I want to bring this up. You have unlimited doc size, 30 day version history, hidden pages, custom form branding, and pro packs, which is sort of like a, a high level of integration stuff. As you can see here, just as a baseline for free, you have like Spotify integration, Wikipedia, weather, and then you have things like Slack and Gmail and Google Calendar in here for the pro version. So just jumping into an example workspace here, we can look at this project planner. And something that I wanna point out about this application versus Coda is that functionally speaking, they actually work very similarly. Let me explain. If you go to the column section, you see that a lot of these are very similar to what you'll see if I made a new column right here. So if we go to text options right here. So if we go to change the column type, you'll see that there actually might be a few more options with Coda. However, it's very interesting because you have this packs option, which can in certain circumstances, think about it, be similar to what you'd find here with the drive attachments. So uniquely enough between Google tables and Coda, the one main difference is not the baseline functionality of it having buttons, notes, columns, a lot of the same metadata items, statuses, even automations. But the difference is that its integration capabilities uniquely are limited to just Google Drive when it comes to this one. So if you think about this, I can add any file from Google Drive right here. So I could take a look at all the different shared drive stuff I have and I could take content, let's pull up a the thumbnail of a video. And right here, if I clicked on this, it would open it in the Google Drive and I'd be able to see it, which is a very nice feature. And I can also see if I check this one, this is a location one, which obviously goes in line with the Google Maps feature. So if I discard this, click on this, look it up. This is gonna be connected to Google Maps. And then within here, if we look at the different packs that exist, go to packs, discover more packs, you'll see that funny enough, there is a Google Drive one within here. Now that I think about it, if I complete this setup and I do this drive file option, the difference between something like this and Notion becomes pretty stark because while the benefit of this application is still that it is like truly native with Google Drive. You have something really close with Coda that can be manually data, data refreshed or daily and hourly. And say I were to take a Google Doc and in this circumstance, sync Google Drive files into my setup in Coda. We actually have a situation where since Coda has the ability to integrate with other applications, Google Tables is more limited than similar types of applications because newsflash having integrations at a company is something that should be a thing we know that clickup has great integrations but it's getting a lot of flack recently for the bugs but when it comes to coda it has similar google table functionality so when like i had this epiphany that google tables was awesome it has bots it has native google drive integration you can select things based on time row added row removed for these different triggers right so for example if in this situation, I change this to not started, I can have a bot set up so that when the subtasks are checked off, this becomes completed as you just saw. And yes, it's cool. I can even put forms within this. It's like truly native from a Google Calendar versus a Google Calendar situation. But within here, there is Google Calendar syncs, there's Google Drive syncs, and, and there's even a Gmail one as well on the premium plan as well. 
So when you think about it from that perspective, it's like, okay, if an application that has the ability to move blocks around and actually can be a page, well, it is less aesthetic than Notion, Coda still can be moved around and still can have columns and whatnot and still can be colored. Outside of this being purely native, it doesn't really have anything on Coda, which is kind of mind boggling when you think about it. Once these type of applications get true, really well-made one-to-one integrations with Google, anything that Google would put out would kind of be thrown to the wayside unless they also had integrations with other applications. These are the kind of things that are not considered when many times apps like these come along and they have a bunch of different nice views that you can make, you know, whether it be this grid layout, Kanban layout, queue layout, map layout. Yes, this is all nice stuff. But unless Google Tables were to make a competitive app one for one with Coda and all the different ways that it can do things and integrate with other apps and have good aesthetics, then the whole great part of it having Google Drive integrations completely gets thrown to the wayside the second that an app like Coda, or you know, let's hope Notion, actually has a Google Calendar and Google Drive integrations that mean something. Food for thought, hope you guys enjoy this one and you'll probably enjoy this one as well on how to improve your productivity even more.